in this module we would further go towards an alternative to insurance company from an islamic viewpoint takaful is uh, presented as an alternative to conventional insurance takaful is uh, an arabic word the origin of which is kafala but not the kafala as a contract i explained in the previous module kafala as an arabic word which means to offer some kind of guarantee to offer some kind of protection to offer some kind of help and takaful is basically mutual protection protecting each other so that is takaful the word takaful takaful business which has now been developed in many parts of the muslim world including in pakistan makes sure that there are no elements of riba gharar and maiser i e gambling or jua in its operation these three elements were identified as objectionable in the case of conventional insurance so this takaful business ensures that these three prohibited items are not there or these three prohibited elements are not there in an islamic alternative to insurance the basic or fundamental contract which is used in takaful business is called tabarro tabarro which is an arabic word which means donation so donation is actually the main contract which is used in takaful or it is a contract on which the whole takaful business has been developed this tabarro or donation ensures that there is no gharar maiser or riba in the case of islamic insurance if we may call takaful as such of course there are other contracts also involved in the structure and operations of takaful we may have contracts like wakala mudarba in some cases kafala as well and waqf so there are different models depending on which contract is being used by a party which is called takaful operator takaful as an islamic insurance business involves two main entities there could be so many other entities however i'm talking about main entities there is a takaful operator and there is a takaful fund what is a takaful operator of course it is a company it is an independent company mandated to set up a takaful fund and manage it in light of the rules of sharia so it's a manager it's a management company takaful management company which sets up the takaful fund as a fund or as a company depending on the preference of the stakeholders or depending on the insurance regulations in a particular country takaful fund may or may not be a company as i said but must have segregated business from the takaful operator so they, these are two independent entities the kaful operator which could be a company in most cases it is required to be a company but the kaful fund could be an entity may not be a company it may be a legally recognized entity the kaful operator receives remuneration for the services it provides to the takaful fund because takaful operator is manager of the takaful fund 
of course, it would like to receive some compensation for its services. Takaful policy holders, we don't call them takaful policy holders, but I'm using this for simplicity. They are known as participants. So participants technically own the takaful fund, but of course they do not have direct control on it individually. Of course, as the collective body, they can exercise control on the takaful fund. So there is a takaful operator, takaful management company, there is a takaful fund, and then I have identified the participants. Like insurance policy holders, we have participants in case of takaful. Now, the, the participants, they are actually named beneficiaries of the proceeds from the takaful fund. So they are the main beneficiaries. Let us look at the generic model of the Kaful business. Now the upper part, this is the conventional story. We have this someone paying premiums to an insurance company and receiving some defined benefits up to a limit during certain time period. In case of the Kaful, we have this someone who contributes donations. We don't call the contributions of the, this guy as premium. Rather, we say these are donations and they are actually donations. And these donations, they go to this Takaful fund, which is independent of the Takaful operator. The Kaful operator only manages this Takaful fund and receives a fee for that one. Now, donations are contributed to this one with the expectation that this person would be receiving some defined benefits up to a limit during certain time period. So, although there are similarities between conventional insurance and the Kaful business. However, of course, there are some differences. The ma major difference is the establishment of this the Kaful fund. Now, at the end, I would like to summarize that there are three main parties. First one is the Kaful operator, the Kaful management company, the Kaful fund, and we have participants. If we go into further details, there would be so many other parties as well. There would be, there could be an investment separate independent investment manager. There could be marketing company. I'm not going into all those details. I am looking into the nucleus of the Kaful business. So there are three main parties. Similarly, when it comes to different the Kaful models, there could be a model based on Wakala, and we would look into it, Mudarba or Wakf. So, depending on which underlying contract is being used, we would call a particular model of the Kaful as such. So, there would be Wakala based the Kaful model, there would be Mudarba based the Kaful mo model, there would be Wakf based the Kaful model, and all these models we shall cover in next modules.